Hello good people and welcome to Excel Hacks for Productivity. One trick, two minutes to learn, I was saved every day. In this short video, we'll learn how to use the advanced filter to export a list from a database using a criteria. So here, I have an example payroll data here. And from this payroll, I want to extract the information or only staff in admin and their salaries and I want to put this on the side of this worksheet so to do this we need to do three things first identify the database including the headers so here I have my database including the headers sorted out the second thing I need is a criteria bar so a criteria bar will be created on top of the original database now uh, you just copy the headers as you have it and then add an extra row so you select an extra row with the header and you copy now leave at least one blank row and then come on top of the original database and paste the reason we are doing this is we want to use a criteria to do the extraction so once we leave a blank row under the headers we are going to place the criteria you are using under the respective header so if you look at what we are doing we are extracting salary of admin staff so the criteria here is administration which falls under department if you are using any other you just copy and paste it here so copy administration paste it under department that's the second thing the third thing we need to do is to identify how we are going to export which headers to include so the headers we need are the names, the department, and the salary. Now I selected these headers pressing the control key as I select. So I'll copy these three headers, come to the side of the table and paste. So I have these headers on standby. So my database, my criteria bar, and then my export cells. Now, when you've done this, you just come to the ribbon and then under data you locate sort and filter advanced if you are using windows you can just press alt aq so alt aq is the shortcut to get to the same point once you have this you go through the following so the first thing we need is we are copying to another location so you choose copy to another location our list range is a database so you come you start from the header select and go down so this completes the database selection our criteria range is the criteria bar we created on top of the original database again you select it with the headers and you include that extra row with the criteria and the last thing we need is the copy to we have our headers on standby so all we need to do is just select the headers so name department and salary so going over this is the database the second one is our criteria range we select the headers plus the criteria and then the copy to we should have our headers on standby in some cells we select these and then we press ok so once we press ok i have extracted only information for admin stuff want to try other criteria you just need to change the criteria in the criteria bar and then go through the same process please practice and add it to your list of excel tricks for more videos concern add we we'll add you to our broadcast list we send videos directly on mondays and fridays visit our youtube channel for all our old videos click subscribe for notification of new videos or give us a like on our facebook page Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.